Chris Oak Seats presents. Hey, what's going on YouTube? With Oak Seats here. I'm going to start a new series of videos here. You're going to get to know me a little bit more. I'm going to share with you the tips necessary for you to have a successful garden from seed all the way through harvest. The first thing we're going to need to start with is to figure out are you going to use soil or are you going to go hydroponics? So, here we have your typical homemade hydroponic system. It consists of a five gallon bucket painted black to prevent the light from seeping into the bucket. We've got air hose, a valve, your air pump. Inside the bucket we have an air stone, you have a net pot, and you have a one-way valve to release the water. It makes it easier to clean your reservoir. Both things can easily be obtained or purchased online, made yourself. But what we're going to go over is we're going to go over soil. I'd like to thank our clothing sponsor, Vanser M Clothing. Vanser M Clothing is located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. They are 100% organic clothing company. Fully sustainable materials. As for designs, they have no limits. Vanser M just does what they think is right. Please visit the website, www.vanserdam.com. Thank you. All right. So once you have your soil all in your trays, you can go ahead and prepare your seeds. Take your seeds. Most people will uh, let the seeds sit in a glass of water overnight. I Me, mean, I find it doesn't really uh, matter. If the seeds are going to fire, they're going to fire. So you go ahead and you make a little hole quarter inch deep here the seed do that for all of them the strain we're planting today is kish so we've got three different types of medical marijuana being grown for you today over the next few episodes, you'll see the progress of these babies go. So we just planted eight kish. And over here we've got our green crack and our rock star. So after you've planted those, go ahead and mark these so I know that I don't put water in them. After you've planted them, you don't want to give them fertilizer. You don't want to give them any fertilizer right now. So you go ahead and water them. Now what I use is to germinate my seeds and start them like this, is I use a mixture of peat moss and pumice. I find it holds the water very well the seeds germinate to a very strong root ball and it's easy to get out. So the easier and it is to get remove your plants once they're planted, the happier your plants will be in the long run. Well, thank you very much everybody for tuning in. Until next time, peace and happy growing.